solving equations with infinite solutions. So we have 3 parentheses y minus 2 over 2 is equal to y minus 2 plus y plus 1 over 2. Now the first thing we do is to get rid of the denominator. So we can get rid of the denominator by multiplying um, 2. So here, so we have 2 and the 2 goes away. So we have 3y minus 2 left. Now if we multiply this side by 2, we must multiply the other side of the equation by 2 also. So this is 2. So now we distribute this 2 inside the parentheses. So we have 2y. So this is equal to 2y. And then 2 times a minus 2 is a minus 4. Now here, now this cancels that. So we just have a y plus 1. So now we um, combine like terms and we also distribute this 3 inside the parentheses. So we have 3y minus 3 is equal to, so we have a 2y and a y for a net of 3y. Now we have a minus 4 and a plus 1 for a net of minus 3. So now let's put this minus 3y on the other side, minus 3y. And now 3y minus 3y equals 0. And here 3y minus 3y equals 0. So now we have this minus 3 equals minus 3. So now this is called the um all this is called all solutions because minus 3 always equal to minus 3. So this is called all solutions solutions or indefinite solution so um, minus 3 equals minus 3 all the time so this means that it doesn't matter um, what value we substitute for x the equation will always be true so you can plug in any number and the left side will always equal the right side so there so there are infinite solutions so sometimes we use the symbol this symbol or this symbol and this means which means so this symbol means infinity infinity it's a um just like an eight on its side so this represent infinite solutions. So infinity or this represent represent infinite solutions. Or you can just say all all solutions. Or you can represent your answer um, this way. Just put a infinite symbol.